Got a pair of 95 liter gilts tricked out back on a play on sow. Uh, this sow would have been the, the pure, uh, champion pure influence uh, gilt that my son showed last year at the expo and uh, summer type conference there. And uh, uh, we're going ahead and bred her tricked out. I thought this could be pretty interesting and uh, I'm, I'm very excited about this litter. Uh, uh, we got tags uh, 869. Uh, that'd be the solid white gilt. Uh, gilt I, I mean, just is very, very stout in terms of bone work and foot size. Uh, yeah, I wish she had like a little bit of blue on her to kind of set her apart. But being all white kind of gilt that uh, I think is pretty interesting in how this one could uh, feed out uh, um, or even make a sow for someone. Because I think this one could be really exciting in terms of making a high quality terms of hog for a market show or even if uh or a breeding guilt uh, but uh, a very stout legged i mean stout scald type of but still have that look about her then we get into the painted one uh eight eight seventy guilt uh uh she is i mean always been kind of that one that sticks out in terms of eye appeal and uh, and i mean she's one that just has a little more better in terms of design and such for a show guilt uh, uh but the, when this thing keeps powering up and and uh hits that ring i think it's gonna catch a lot of eyes and I, that definitely is one the judge is going to remember because of her color pattern but uh but then it's also going to remember just in terms of the quality that she has to offer and uh, this one's i think is going to be pretty interesting come later november uh when she gets to show maybe at there louisville or or even out to uh, the west coast part of things as a big breeding guilt uh, but i think a pair you need to look in that uh, a little more serious about if you want to make uh, feed some really good hogs there